Okay, after installing the Microsoft ODBC driver, the next thing you need is the PDO SQL Serve driver for PHP. So I'm going to go ahead and open another tab and look for PDO SQL Serve. And uh, I see some references from php.net. Um, Let's try this one. This is a little tricky because there are a couple of different pages on the Microsoft site that list the PDO SQL Serve driver, um, but at least one of the pages just has old versions of the driver, and you need a later version to actually match the version of PHP we just installed. So let's see what we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this download PHP driver link to see where it takes me and what's available. And actually 5.8 is a pretty recent version. So 5.8 or later is what you're looking for. Um, and I'm going to click this link to download Microsoft drivers for PHP for SQL Serve Windows. That gives me an executable. And then what I'm going to do over here, let me reload. So here's the new thing. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder, new folder in my downloads called PDO. And then I'm going to move this into that. So I'm going to control X to cut and go in the folder and control V to paste. And I'm doing that because when I execute this, it's going to extract a bunch of different drivers and I only need two of them. And uh, so I'm making this PDO folder as a convenient place to let it unpack all of this stuff into. So I'm going to go ahead and double click to run that, accept the license. So now I have to browse for this folder right here. So let me go ahead and copy that and paste it in here and say OK. So these are all the ones that I got, um, but I only really need one of these PHP PDO things and one of these PHP SQL Serve things. And the one I pick needs to match the PHP installation in XAMPP that I just installed. So if you're using a different version of XAMPP from what I installed here, which is almost certainly the case, then the version of PHP you have in your XAMPP is not going to be the same as the version that I have in mine, and so you'll likely need a different version of these drivers. So how do you tell which version you actually need? Well, we go back to this PHP info thing, and I'm going to show you how to get here again. So when your web server is running in XAMPP, go localhost, and then click on PHP info, and that will take you here. So you need three pieces of information. The first piece is the 7.4.4. So this is PHP 7.4. Then the second piece of information you need is this architecture will either be x64 or x32 or x86. And then the third piece that you need is this thing right here. So TS means thread safe. So your extensions are thread safe. So together, we're looking for PHP SQL Serve 74 thread safe x64. So that matches the version of PHP in my download. And then the other one is PHP PDO SQL Serve 74 thread safe x64. So those two drivers are the ones I need. So what I do with those is open another file explorer. And here I'm going to navigate to, I think that's fine. So I'm going to go to, let's move this over there, C, XAMPP, PHP, Ext for extensions. And that's where these two things go. So right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of these things using control click, both of the TS X64 versions, 
and then drag and drop them right into here. And then optionally, you can rename these to be a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. And let's go right click and rename. And I'm going to get rid of the version information here. And right click on this one and rename and get rid of the version information here. So now these are installed in the right place. The other thing I need to do is change my php.ini file. So I go back up to the PHP folder, look for php.ini, which should be right here, right click and open in a text editor. So I use Notepad++. And I'm going to have to resize this a little bit. Okay, so that's reasonable. So if you start scrolling down, it's a pretty long file. So what you're looking for is a bunch of extensions right here. So what I usually do is Control F to find, and I type extension. And then you'll have to find next a couple of times, but eventually you'll get to this big block of extensions. Actually, we're here now. So in this list of extensions, look for all of the PDO ones. So here's a PDO Firebird, PDO MySQL, PDO OC OCI, and so on. Um, PDO is PHP data objects, and it's an interface in PHP that lets you talk to different kinds of databases using PDO. And then Inside of that, you need specific drivers for each different kind of database you're talking to. So by default, PDO MySQL is uncommented out, which means that I can use PDO to talk to a MySQL database. But And also there's PDO SQLite, so I can talk to a SQLite database. But there's nothing here for SQL Server. So SQL Server you talk to through ODBC, which we installed. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment that one. And then we need two more drivers that, um, that aren't in here at all yet. So we need to add those. So you're going to follow the same form. I'll go ahead and add them here. Extension equal PDO under, and then look at the names of these two drivers. So let me go back to my ext folder. So the two I copied were PDO SQL Serve and PHP CD PDO SQL Serve. And uh, PHP SQL Serve. So in order to write that in here, basically you strip off the PHP underscore part at the beginning and then the dot DLL at the end. And that just gives you SQL Serve and PDO under SQL Serve. So PDO under SQL Serve and SQL Serve. And that should be it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now if I go to PHP Info and I do a F, Control F, Find, SQL Serve, there's nothing here. So what I'm going to do is go to my XAMPP folder, right click on XAMPP control and run as administrator. And I'm going to stop Apache and then start it up again. And if I've done everything right so far, it should start up and it should be running on port 80 and port 443. And then I'm going to go back to PHP Info and reload. And I'm going to try finding SQL Serve again. So now there's a SQL Serve registered stream, and there's actually 12 entries for SQL Serve. So under PDO, I see SQL Serve, PDO support for SQL Serve. 
And then I also see a block of settings for PDO SQL Serve. Actually, it's a really short block. It's just the extension version. And uh, two directives. I don't really care about the details. The important part is just that it's finding all the stuff about PDO SQL Serve and also about the SQL Serve driver itself. So that all seems to work. And the next video, we'll look at actually talking to the database.